Oh my god. Hey Shen. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're with Nicole, and if you're new here, I share lots of delicious homestyle recipes, and I am also a twin mom, and I've been sharing my twin pregnancy journey. So this is my baby boy, Remy, <laughs> and my baby girl here, Ivy. So I have I'm joined by these two very, very special guests today. This video I'm really excited to share with you all is all about that last trimester. It takes you inside the hospital that I had multiple hospital admissions. So it gives you a bit of an insight to what was going on and what I was feeling at the time and even captures some really special moments inside the operating room the day the babies were born. So I hope you enjoy watching. Thanks for joining us and don't forget to subscribe. Thirty-three weeks and four days. So being admitted to stay in hospital um, indefinitely for uh, some scans and monitoring of the twins. Came in today for a growth and well-being scan. Thought we could go home. Was hoping to be able to go home, but no such luck. <laughs> I'm going to be in here. Um, yeah, kind of indefinitely and likely that the babies will be born any time between now and maybe the next week. Ha! Ah, scary. So the main reason um, they have admitted me is because twin A, baby girl, um, she is small in size but she's still growing which is awesome. Um, it's just now that her blood flow um, needs to be monitored quite closely. They think that maybe there's a little bit of resistance in that so they just want to keep a really close watch on it. So yeah, I'll be getting the CDG scans twice a day um, and another growth and wellbeing scan in two days. Twin B, twin A heart rates. We've just had a growth scan at the hospital and I've been to the car to grab some overnight gear. Hospital bag packed a few weeks ago, pillows and snacks. Because we've been admitted a bit early, we're 33 and a, 33 and a half weeks or so. The scan's showing that the baby girl is twin A or presenting, has a little bit of restricted blood flow, so maybe indications that the placenta's, oh my God, what a huge worm on the ground. The placenta is maybe not performing, starting to perform how it should, which is pretty typical for twins around this point of gestation. So yeah, it could be a dad any time in the next one to seven days, which is which is awesome, pretty wild. Um, the babies are pretty small at the moment, like 20th percentile for the boy and maybe around the second for the girl, but they're measured against singleton, so it's not really a fair measurement. They would measure higher if they were measured against twins, but that's what they use. Time to spend the night in hospital. Might be here for a few weeks, actually. We're not going home tonight, that's for sure. So this is my tummy at 33 weeks and six days, so almost 34 weeks with twinnies. Show you, it's grown a lot in the last little bit. Getting very uncomfortable. Hey guys, got a bit of an update for you. So um, little twin A here, we're just about to go down for a scan just to check the blood flow um, to her to see how she's tracking. So following that, the doctors will make a decision, hopefully, as to when they might arrive. If things haven't really changed, they might do another scan in a couple of days. So we've just got to wait it out and see what happens. And yeah, fingers crossed that all goes well today. Um, the doctors have said that they will be having a cesarean or c-section um, just because twin A is breech so she is the presenting twin which means she needs to come first. Twin B, baby boy, he's head down ready to go but his sister has other ideas for them. So yeah we've been in hospital for two nights now and pretty much the options are get another scan, see how it's going. They might either put us in for a cesarean, 
wait it out a couple more days and then even less likely it's going to be sent home. So, who knows. So it's 4 o'clock, scan was at 8 o'clock this morning um, and the sonographer was really happy with how everything looked on the scan. The doctor did come in this morning to have a look at everything and they said everything was looking good. Um, the blood flow, which was of concern the other day, looked like it had increased and they've just done more tests throughout the day and everything's looking good. So I'm 34 weeks tomorrow on the home stretch now um, and yeah, it's looking like we will hopefully get discharged to go home today and let the babies keep cooking for a little bit longer. So part of what the team have to do twice a day um, is get a CTG trace of the baby's heartbeats. Um, but because there's two, they're, they're quite difficult to find and twin A has been notoriously difficult <laughs> to find because as soon as they find her, she kind of kicks them off and then she goes and hides. So she just does not like, she doesn't like the scans at all. Um, twin B has been pretty good. He's a lot easier to find though because he's up higher. So um, he has less less place to go, less places to hide. <laughs> but yeah, twin A literally like it took a couple of hours this afternoon just to get her trace because she was wiggling so much trying to fight them. Everyone's been saying that she's going to be a little bit cheeky. So twin B is up here. You can probably see him. My stomach is quite um, lopsided. So he's here, which is where we normally get the trace of him. And then twin A is somewhere down here. She likes to move around a lot. And she is also breech. Can you guess where we are? <laughs> we are back in the hospital again for the third time in six weeks. <laughs> so this time though, probably not gonna get out without some babies. <laughs> the twins were booked in this morning for a growth and wellbeing scan. The obstetrician that I spoke to a couple of days ago did say just kind of be ready and pack your bags just in case because at this gestation, so I'm 35 weeks and two days, plus what happened with my P prom experience, yeah, they kind of just wanted to see how things were going. So they said to come prepared. And so we had the growth and wellbeing scan this morning. So at the scan this morning, um, they said that the blood flow was looking good, the heartbeats were looking good. Um, the one thing that they were a little bit concerned about was that their growth has started to slow down a little bit, which is not always uncommon for twins. So um, at this gestation, so I'm 35 weeks and two days today, plus with what has happened with the P-Prom experience, they said that it's probably best to get the twins out sooner rather than later. So they suggested any time in the next five days. We said, is there any space for tomorrow to get these babies delivered sooner rather than later? General consensus from the doctors as well was, yeah, let's get them out. Um, and a spot just happened to pop up. One of the ladies who was on the list um, actually went into labor early and decided to have a natural birth instead of a cesarean. So that's how it's all worked out. So it's meant to be tomorrow. It's kind of like a really weird feeling knowing that like the babies, the twins will be here tomorrow. I guess it's kind of a bit unusual, like not the birth experience that you had in mind where, you know, your water breaks or something happens and then you have the mad rush to the hospital. It's all quite like calm and planned at the moment. Um, so hopefully it stays that way. Just got to wait. I've got to start fasting tonight from about 12 o'clock. They're not entirely sure what time tomorrow. Um, they're sort of saying maybe sometime in the morning, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, just playing the waiting game. My husband has got some dinner for us. I've already had dinner. This will be my second dinner because I need to eat as much as possible before 12 o'clock tonight. Uh, and then, yeah, just going to try and watch a movie and have some sleep before it gets kind of chaotic.
time to pick up our babies. More special packages. We're finally taking home our babies. So exciting. It's been two weeks in hospital and little Bubba here has just picked up a bit of a stink. He wants some more milk, he's a growing boy. So we're just making sure his tummy's full before we get on the road. And his little sister's asleep over there. Tom introduced the babies to their new home. Come on, Bubba, it's all right. Welcome home. Welcome home.